Disclaimer! The following is a parody of Cinema Sins Everything Wrong With series. If you're unfamiliar with their humor, I suggest you go watch their content first. The intent of this video is for comedy and entertainment purposes only. With this in mind, it's also worth mentioning that the sentiments of the creator of this video towards the game in question will not interfere with the content of the video itself. That being said, the creator of this video means no offense to the creators of the game in question, the game in question itself, the game franchise, or the people who like the game in question. Without further ado, thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy. The Thievius Raccoon. Anyone? 4.20 a.m.? Why are there so many lights on at this hour? Really? I've read about this. Master Raccoon Thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. How f***ing convenient. Carmelita Montoya Fox is the inspector? Okay, first off, Montoya, does that mean she's related to me? Second off, as the inspector? Is this a movie or a video game? Is this game pulling a Mario 3? It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Roll credits. In Reddit learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. Anyone who read it? So reading the book will automatically make you a master thief just like that? After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. Sly is a dick to normal people. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked her. They opened the vault just like that? The Thievius Raccoonus. Roll credits. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. You were dumped at the orphanage? By who? Among buddies and trusted I shit you not, all they did was make Bentley bigger. His physical appearance did not change. You went from Paris to Wales by crossing Asia and America. Not only is that f***ing impossible because you would have had to cross the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans by van, but that was one of the stupidest things you guys have ever done. Did you ever consider maybe driving northwest instead of having to cross the entire f***ing planet? No problem. I'll just use my climb move. How is climbing a move? Hold on, Sly! See those searchlights? One careless step and you'll be subjected to acute combustion! Holy bananas, just touching the searchlight causes acute combustion? Why? That's some pretty harsh exposure to light. That blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. No, actually it doesn't. Sly, you found a page from the Thievius Raccoonus. This page teaches old Drake Cooper's fast attack dive move. Press the triangle button to use it. I forgot to mention this the first time, but it's bad enough you're stealing your stuff back. Leaving your calling card is just rubbing it in. Raleigh appears to have booby-trapped this entire place. I'm gonna enjoy this. Don't you get it, Sly? If you step on that rug, forget about becoming a master thief. You'll be a master dartboard. Wait a second. What if I jumped into that barrel for protection? How convenient. This one features Dev Cooperinda's slow motion jumps. He used this to get by all kinds of airborne threats. Hit the triangle button while in the air to slow down time. Sly, and by extension anyone who can read the damn thing, is a Time Lord. Sly, see that machine wheel? If my knowledge of mechanical engineering serves me right, applying significant rotational torque to achieve maximum velocity will yield a positive result. Nerd! Oh, you're lucky, Sly. This page features Karen Cooper Giwa's coin magnet technique. All she had to do was stand near money, and it would magically jump into her purse. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. Well, gloat all you want, Sly Cooper. You're no match for Mugshot, my villainous cohort in Utah. And this is why villains never win. They never shut up and let the hero know everything. You might as well give in Sly Mugshot's address, telephone number, and social security number. You will see. Mesa City. Are you serious? You couldn't just leave it at Utah? <coughs> the f***? Hot chick with gun? I highly doubt that they would allow the press to call the world's top inspector a hot chick. Turns out he wasn't always that way. 
He grew up as the run of the litter. What a dick. <laughs> Those kids laugh like adults. Yeah, do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land safely upon diminutive points, leapeth lively and presseth the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. Who writes like that? Seriously, it's not hard to understand. Just say hit the circle button. Translation. Outstanding! You've uncovered Rob McCooper's patented explosive hat technique! How is throwing a bomb disguised as a hat a technique? In fact, how can you just magically make your hat a bomb? Well, this mugshot certainly isn't shy. Okay, so we know he's here somewhere, but how are we supposed to find him? Mesa City is a big place! Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he'd choose to live in a giant fire hydrant. That's specious. Murray is in position to make a run for this key! Okay, so what do I do? I never understood why we had to protect Murray and why Sly couldn't just get the key himself. This page is from your hyperactive ancestor, B.F. Cooper. He discovered a way to speed up the clock. Perfect for those long stakeouts. Again, Time Lord. Murray, what's going on down there? Well, I drove to the Does that hot dog have a human face? Snack. And the next thing you know, I'm getting challenged to a race by these gangster dogs. Is there a key in it for the winner? Yeah, three times around the track for a key. That's a pretty crappy prize if you ask me. Then again, that key might be important, but in that case, why would they be wagering it in the first place? Would you look at that ugly mug? Ha! <laughs> oh, jeez. Forget it! Your cane will never smash that thick glass! You'll need something super heavy, like that big wrecking ball up there! So, can we get Miley Cyrus to do this job, or...? This will come in handy! It's Suzanne Cooper's notes pertaining to water safety! With this knowledge under your belt, you won't have to waste a charm whenever you fall into water. Basically, this page teaches you how to swim. It's Sir Andrew Cooper's thief replica technique. He used to make fake stand-ups of himself to confuse guards into attacking the wrong thing. Use the triangle button to put together a fake Sly Cooper. Out of what, may I ask? Your father? Wow! You're a Cooper? You know that Thingus Rakamagookus had a lot of nice pictures, but way too many big boys. You know, Sly, maybe you have the wrong guy. You're looking for the people who stole the Thievius Raccoonus, and Mugshot clearly stole the Thingus Rakamagookus. Totally different. Stuff. Trash the joint! I feel transgressed! I hate to be that guy, but you wouldn't think that someone with the intellect and brawn of Mugshot would even know the word transgressed. <laughs> okay. Also, this is why you never miss leg day. My beautiful gun is destroyed! <laughs> How does this work, per se? The reflection of light just somehow renders the guns useless? In any case, why use the guns? Your massive f***ing arm should do the trick. This is impossible! A little pipsqueak like you, beating a big strong bruiser like me? It ain't right! You want all of that stupid picture book? You're gonna have to go down to Haiti and cross paths with Ms. Ruby. How is it possible that Mugshot is smarter than Raleigh? Raleigh gave Sly a specific location in Utah and Mugshot just generally said Haiti. Even so, are they trying to screw each other over? Why do they keep revealing each other's undisclosed location? And drag that canine steroid case off to jail. Hot stuff with a badge? Seriously, who writes these headlines? The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess, Ms. Ruby. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. So her motivation is to invoke fear into those who already feared her as a child? Or to simply get back at them? Either way, that's not going to make anyone fear you any less. This swab is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria! Suck it up, Bentley. Sly, I don't think anyone wants to suck up mold and bacteria. I know that's not what you mean, but seriously, poor choice of words to follow up with. Now your raccoon roll move will really pack a punch! Plus, it should give you a nice tingling sensation! Ew. What the f***? Sly, the only way to open up that voodoo gate is by lighting all 25 tiki torches with the flamethrower on your swamp skiff. Why on earth would a swamp skiff have a flamethrower? Steer and press the X button to fire the flamethrower. Oh, and one more thing. You need fuel from the flamethrower, and the only source of oil are those piranha you see swimming around. 
Run them down with a boat. One fish fuels one shot. Oh, Bentley, if it were that easy, people would be crashing into shit all the time. With all the hay and feathers in here, just looking at this place has got me breaking out in hives. But we've got no choice. That ghost over there contacted me on Spectre Wave Radio, and we've cut a deal. He's promised us a key if you can whack 50 chickens. I'm sorry, what? He needs them to make a big pot of gumbo, but he's scared of the bob-toting roosters. He's a ghost! He neither needs sustenance nor should be afraid to die at the hands, or rather, wings of roosters! Yeah, well, you give me the creeps too, lady. Cooking up an army of ghosts isn't a very neighborly pastime. <laughs> Oh, Sly, I see your mouth a moving, but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. Suddenly, 90s comebacks. If you repeat what I do, you'll dodge it just fine. If not, you'll get zapped. <laughs> Aside from the fact that she talks slower than a herd of snails traveling through peanut butter, why are you giving him a means of attacking you? You're the bad guy! You're not supposed to play fair! The production of zombies, made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71. Zombies aren't illegal, but the production of them is? Well, damn. Latin hottie bust big bad voodoo mama? Okay, now I'm convinced they're reusing titles from porn videos. While the gang and I enjoyed a few weeks... Bentley must have quite the amount of patience to make a computer out of sand. Your southern ancestors, Huckleberry Cooper, developed a technique to move while staying invisible. You can turn invisible? There is no reason you should ever get spotted now. Ever. Nice job breaking into the Panda King's compound. I think I figured out a way to get to the top of that giant statue. But unfortunately, it's obstructed by this reinforced ceiling hatch. No pro I don't see any chains on those fireworks, just locks. Are they super glued on or something? Can you not just take them? No? Okay. I never would have thought this was possible. Sir Augustine of Cooper's technique to briefly defy gravity. Defying gravity. Defying gravity. You can control time, make yourself invisible, and defy gravity. Sure, not all at the same time, but that's still godmodding your character. I've calculated the trajectory of these rockets, and I'm 99% sure you'll be able to ride them all the way to the top of that statue before they explode. Hmm. What about that other 1%? Well, in that case, Sly, you'll be blown to bits. But the experience will no doubt be spectacular. What an asshole. Murray, what are you doing down there? Well, I'm minding my post when I notice a snow cone stand and I think to myself, hey, Murray, you got to keep your energy up. So I hurry over here and then all of a sudden, monkeys are everywhere, bugging me to race them three times around this track for a key. That certainly beats my fanfiction. And by the way, why would you have a snow cone business when you're surrounded by snow? Don't try to confuse the issue. You criminals are all the same, and none of you can escape justice. Most politicians would beg to differ. Oh yeah, I went there. Press the triangle button and execute a flashbang that will stun all guards in the world for a few seconds. I can see how this might be useful and entertaining too. Not only is Bentley a dick to all guards around the world, but that is very fucking specific. It only freezes time for all guards around the world? Imagine the poor souls that have that career choice. There's a small guard working his shift when all of a sudden he freezes at the mercy of a raccoon. That must suck. If any rocket propelled itself that slowly, it most certainly would not get off the ground. No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves, while you you're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. So basically what you're saying is that it's okay to be a thief as long as you don't kill anyone in the process and only steal from criminals. Okay. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique, Flame Fu. So now we're fighting a Kung Fu pen- Oh. Your skill with that cane is unparalleled. <coughs> Sly, I did a cross analysis of the metal used in that high-tech blasting vehicle, and it turns out it can only be found in one place, the Krakatoa volcano in Russia. That's got to be where we'll find the fifth member of the- Finally, someone who doesn't rat out the following member. Why couldn't they just have Bentley directed to the next boss each time? Hot Latin Spitfire puts Fiery Panda on ice? Ah yes, the crazy zoophilic circus porn.
Dude, that's kick ass? Seriously, who writes this? Evil King quoted, I just wanted to blow up stuff should be the true motivation of any villain. Come on already, it can't be that hard to catch him. Is a header that makes me think that the writer would be great at CinemaSins. I shake my fist at you, giant glass container. Looks like I'm going to have to do some fast and furious... Will Vin Diesel make a special guest appearance? Gas ...before Sly's brain is turned to cheese. What? Sly, I was wrong about you. Break me out of this force field by smashing its base, and I'll make it up to you somehow. Are we finally gonna get our furry lap dance? I don't get it. You're so familiar with my family. You must have known my father had a son. If you hated the Cooper so much, why did you let me live when you stole the Thievius Raccoonus? Sly would be great at CinemaSins. Show the world that without your precious book, the Cooper line was nothing. Ah, well, there's where you're wrong. The Thievius Raccoonus doesn't create great thieves. It takes great thieves to create the Thievius Raccoonus. Then what was all that collecting pages of the book and learn new techniques bullshit? Huh, Clockwork's head looked pretty tiny there. Without his Bentley, I don't care if that's real life developer, why are you looking at it? <laughs> Who could ever forget the lovely Carmelita? Well, looks like the furry lab dance is gonna get kinky. Anymore. The fuck? We just saw that Bentley had Clockwork's head in his hand, and now it's back to full size and in the lava again. I thought for sure she was gonna slap the handcuffs on me right then and there. But instead, she was true to her word and gave me that 10 second head start. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two. For a Time Lord, Sly really doesn't know how to count seconds correctly. Do you even know what a second is? Because I don't think you do. You must have quite the faith in your game to already tease it a sequel. In jail. Hey guys, Jari5 here. Thanks so much for watching Everything Wrong with Sly Cooper and the Thingus Rackamagookus. Now, if you've been watching my videos, which you totally should by the way, you'll know that in my latest vlog I mentioned that I'm going to handle things differently when it comes to what Everything Wrong with parody I'll be doing next. So now I leave the fate of the next parody in your hands. You guys get to choose between Sonic Adventure, Sonic Riders, or Sonic Generations. I'm giving you guys two weeks for this. I'll be checking results on the 27th of December of 2014. So perhaps this next parody will be the one to kick off the new year. You can vote with the link in the description, and caution, votes in the comments will not count, you have to take the poll. Bear in mind, this doesn't mean I won't do the other two that didn't win, I'll just reserve them for a later time. So thanks again for watching, stay awesome and take care. This is Charai5, signing off.